Good evening, everyone. I'm Crystal Cruz. And I'm Sharon Tay. In less than 24 hours, President Trump is scheduled to speak to the nation. The president will deliver his State of the Union address. It's one week later than planned because of the government shutdown. KGL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with a preview. Dave. Yeah, you know, so will it be a uh, sort of unifying olive branch speech mm. or will it be... Boom, boom, boom. Well, we've got two very different opinions tonight. The White House says the theme of President Trump's State of the Union address on Tuesday night will be about optimism, bipartisanship, and unifying America. But not everyone is buying what the White House is selling tonight, and here's why. As President Trump, the First Lady, and their son Barron returned to Washington Sunday night, his attention turned to the State of the Union address tomorrow night. A speech that could set the agenda for the back half of Mr. Trump's first term. The White House says the tone of the address will be unity. He's calling for cooperation and he's calling for comedy, C-O-M-I-T-Y, and, and also compromise. And is going to point out a couple of examples where this has actually happened on his watch. But that's not what some political analysts and professors expect. Three words, rally the base. When he talks about unification, he's really talking about unifying the base. When he talks about uh, bringing the country together, he means bringing the base together and pointing to the other side and saying they're at fault. Claremont McKenna College political science professor Jack Pitney says the Trump administration's idea of cooperation and unity will not be consistent with the dictionary definition. And Pitney says he expects the issues the president will focus on will reflect that. The whole theme of unity is at odds with his issues. Uh, he has a very divisive agenda on immigration, on trade, and it's very difficult to see how he's going to unify the country around divisive issues. The one thing everyone seems to agree on is that President Trump will certainly focus on what he feels are his most important achievements. I think it's also an address that celebrates uh, so many uh, accomplishments for the United States of America that he would like to highlight as the leader of our nation. That may well be true. Yeah, well, Democrats are already gearing up their attacks on what they expect the president will say. The state of the Trump economy is failing America's middle class. The state of the Trump health care system is failing American families. And the state of the Trump administration is embroiled in chaos and incompetence. Well, in addition to immigration and trade tariff issues, Professor Pitney says President Trump will also focus tomorrow night on infrastructure, health care, and foreign policy. The Democrats' response will be delivered by Stacey Abrams, who lost a very close election for governor of Georgia last November. Nonetheless, Abrams is considered a rising star in the Democratic Party. Crystal, back to you. Okay, thank you, Dave. And we will carry the president's address tomorrow night here on KCAL 9 starting at 6 p.m. Our Dave Bryan, he's going to have complete coverage and analysis after the speech again here on KCAL 9 News mm. at 9.